Hello folks, thanks for stopping by ConcreteRepairMan.com. What, what you're viewing is a heave fracture on an interior floor in a bedroom. And this is a keyway joint right here running that direction. And this is a separate crack, so we consider this as a triangulated fracture. Triangulated fractures means that there's an elevation here, an elevation there, and an elevation there. Three elevations. On the exterior, there are vertical breaks on this side of the home and also over here next to the patio area in this master bedroom. And when the foundation wall goes down and based on the evidence of the vertical fractures on this side of the home because of the rainwater saturation near the foundation means that the foundation wall is going down and it broke. And this floor is poured independently and is non-monolithic, but it does have outward pressures, north, south, east, and west, and will follow the foundation wall down with it, causing these floor heaves. It's not necessarily the case of expansive soil pushing up, causing these floor heaves. All you have to do simply at home, a technique that's widely used is just take a hammer and start tapping near these cracks that are heaved up and see if you hear a hollow sound. A hollow sound means that it's lifting and doing exactly what I just said. Uh, the foundation walls are going down. If it were expansive soil, uh, because of vertical movement and saturation near the perimeter of walls, if your home moves enough, then it will break water lines and cause interior uh, water uh, underneath your floor slab. But just simply take a hammer, tap on the crack, sounds hollow, it's not likely expansive soil, pretty simple. When this goes down, it's also going to cause stress in the ceiling. And there's a lot of stress here in this roof structure. And if this continues, it will rip the roof wide open. Uh, so before it gets to that structural damage, you definitely need six inch aluminum seamless rain gutters with four foot downspout extensions all the way around these homes here in Arizona. This wall is an exterior perimeter wall setting on top of perimeter footing. This is an interior wall setting on top of an interior floor. When the interior wall and the perimeter floor the wall where they meet and you get shearing separation here, that means that the outside wall is moving down. For more information about expansive soils, interior floor crack heave, grinding and floor leveling and stitching, please contact James at 602-418-2970 or go to ConcreteRepairMan.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please comment if you have any questions. Thank you.